Okay, so we're looking at Sugar Ray Robinson versus Sammy Angot here. Now, I'm going to get into this fight um, in a moment. But what I first want to discuss is that not many people are aware, and I got this from the bread man, Stephen Edwards, one of the best boxing coaches in the world, who I've also interviewed on my YouTube channel, which you can see. So he mentioned that in Robinson's fifth fight, he took on someone named Norman Qualls. Now, Norman Qualls was a fighter who'd had over 100 fights, 171, and Robinson took him on in his fifth fight and beat him pretty easily. So Norman Qualls, we can actually um, have a look at his box rec. So let's look at Norman Qualls. Then we'll get on to Sam Yangot as well. So there's Norman, Norman Qualls, as you just saw. He ended his career 71 and 44. So there's he, he's fighting Robinson, just a 19 year old there. The fight before, he's had a draw with bon, Bob Montgomery. Montgomery would end up becoming one of the best lightweights of the 1940s. Just scroll down to see who else he's fought. Lou Ambers, he's fought Lou Ambers, he lost Lou Ambers in 1940. Lou Ambers also a very good at champion. Just going through his career, see who Norman Quarles has fought and his sort of caliber of opponents. We did all fight. He lost to him there. Freddie Miller, so he's beaten Freddie Miller, he's one of the all time great. He's beaten Miller again there in 1935. So you can see, you can see there that Norman Quarles is a He's a very capable boxer, and Robinson, just his fifth fight as a 19 year old, had beaten him quite easily. So let's go back to the fight between Robinson and Angod. So here's Sammy Angod. Now, Robinson was 20 years old when he first fought him. This fight here was the third fight, and um, Robinson was uh, about 25. Uh, so Robinson fought Angod three times, beat him all three times. The first time they fought 1940. Robinson was just 20 years old. Angot was the light lightweight champion. The fight was at lightweight, uh, and Robinson beat him. Uh, so now it's just his 20th fight. Robinson's 20th fight. So in 20 fights, Robinson has beaten someone uh, with 71 wins over 100 pro fights, and then he's gone on to beat the lightweight champion. Uh, so we can have a look at Angot's uh, box record as well, see who, who Angot has fought. Lily Mancini, Paul Montgomery's beating him. He's drawn with Baby Alves Mendy, the first world champion, I believe, from Mexico. He's beaten Alves Mendy there. Petey Sauron. Some names, I'm sure some of you will see. He's also beaten Freddie Miller. He also beat Norman Qualls. So Angle is actually regarded as one of the best lightweight champions. I believe I saw um, Willie Pepper and Johnny Bratton in the list. Let's just go over that, see if we can. Yeah, so he even beat Johnny Bratton in 1947 so after he'd lost to um, Robinson. See the third fight there, 1946, Robinson. So clearly a really good boxer. He's also beat Ike Williams. Lost Williams there. Bowie Jack, another top lightweight of the 1940s. He's beaten Willie Pep in 1943. So clearly, Robinson, he's fallen some great fighters in his first. 20 fights and beaten them. This is the reason not many people know about Robinson. Uh, so you're looking at, you know, compared to today's age, Robinson, he beat Angot at 135. 
So he would have been a champion 135, 140, 147, 154, 160, more, most likely 168, because um, he lost the 175 challenge to Joey Maxim, uh, Joey Maxim, sorry, because of that heat exhaustion. So these are just a couple of couple of reasons, which you know, a couple of fights not everyone's aware of, which adds to Sugar Ray Robinson's uh, legacy as greatness that within 20 fights, he could beat someone of over 100 fights and he could beat the, uh, the lightweight champion as just a 19, 20 year old. Uh, it just shows just how, just how good uh, Sugar Ray Robinson was.